Welcome back to Local News Live. Are you keeping your gut in check? A new survey from MDVIP finds most Americans are not, with two-thirds of adults experiencing recurrent digestive issues. Despite its negative impact on daily life, few Americans bring up tummy troubles with their doctor. The same poll finds most people are confused by the flood of information on diet and nutrition, with 85% of Americans failing a gut IQ quiz. Here to discuss the findings and why we need to listen more to our gut is Dr. Andrea Clemis, Chief Medical Officer of NDVIP. Dr. Clemis, thanks for joining us on Local News Live. Thank you for having me. So gut health seems to be a trending topic these days, but what exactly is it and why is it so important? Yeah, well, most people think of their gut as their stomachs, but it's really everything from your mouth, well, all the way to the other end. And what we found in the MDVIP survey is most Americans didn't know the effects of an unhealthy gut. If your gut is unhealthy, it can increase your risk for heart attacks, strokes, diabetes, and even Alzheimer's disease. We also found that people don't want to talk about their bowels. So you need to, if you have any issues, go to your doctor, like an MDVIP doctor, and talk through what's going on so they can identify what risks you have and what you need to do to mitigate those risks. Clearly, gut health impacts other parts of our body. How does someone know if they have a food sensitivity or food allergy? That appears to be something that impacts our gut health. Yeah, one in five in the survey said they think they have an intolerance or a sensitivity but haven't been diagnosed. And first, there's a difference. A food allergy, something like peanuts, we all know about that, can be life-threatening. Intolerances are like lactose intolerance or you can't have dairy. And that's because you lack an enzyme that breaks it down. Luckily, there are products today where they put that enzyme in the milk or in the ice cream. And the last are the sensitivities. And these are mediated by the immune system. 70 to 80 percent of our immune system is in our gut. And so these are the ones that cause some of the GI issues, but can also cause chronic inflammation in the body, which is how you have the increased risk for heart attacks, strokes, and even brain problems. And when discussing gut issues with the doctor, women say they often feel dismissed, and young adults often just avoid the topic altogether. How do we change that? Yeah, I think it's important to know we need to educate. We found in the MDVIP survey that people are more apt to go to family and friends or the internet than their physician when it comes to their gut health. So we need to have them know that you don't have to suffer in silence. Um, and if your doctor dismisses you, you need to find another doctor and find one that has the time and can really talk through the, the issues that you have and then do some testing if they need to to help you make a plan to be healthier. Okay, so how do we know if we might have an unhealthy gut? So you, doctors can do testing on you for whether you have sensitivity issues or intolerances, but really you probably be having some symptoms, um, the GI symptoms or the brain fog, the skin irritations and other symptoms like that. So anything that you see that isn't normal for you, um, you need to go to your doctor. Dr. Clemis, what surprised you? What stood out about this study from MDVIP? Yeah, I mean that 85% of people failed and no one got an A. I think the funny piece was 50% of people won't poop in a public restroom. But if I'm serious, 70% of people thought you had to have a bowel movement every day, which what's normal for you could be three times a day or three times a week. And also that 45 and under crowd, 40% of them said that they avoid sex due to GI issues or 30% say it affects their quality of life. Mm. So it's really important to many people out there. Yeah, you bring up uh, notes in there that may have a hint of humor in them, but at the same time, they are very serious. And as you mentioned, uh, this can lead, lead to depression, heart attacks. There's a connection between gut health and so many serious issues. So we appreciate you, doctor, coming on and explaining it to us. Thank you. And if you have time, go to mdvip.com slash gut IQ. Take the quiz so you can really understand what you know, and then you can find a doctor who helps you. Uh, learn the rest. Fantastic advice. Chief Medical Officer of MDVIP, Dr. Andrea Clemis. We appreciate you joining us on Local News Live. Thank you so much. You're watching Local News Live. We'll be right back.